Boatan's left hook. It's a weird left hook. It stuns guys. It just stuns people. It just like buzz, buzzes them. But it, I don't know. It, it did it to Strickland. It did it to um, Adasanya, and it did it to Jerry. Three world champions. Poatan, the new light heavyweight world champion. Can you believe it? He kicked the legs out from under Jerry. Jerry had a nice flurry in round two. He showed his power. Poatan, though, nonetheless, as usual, lands what I call the best left hook in kickboxing today. The best left hook in any kickboxing or MMA. The best left hook. When he lands that left hook, he doesn't knock you out flat cold. He puts you in that, what I call the finish him a type position. You know, like you're kind of like dazed and you're confused and it's just like you're a sitting duck. It happened to Adesanya. It happened to Strickland. It happened to Jerry. All three guys were world champion, world-class chins. They all got hit with that left hook and they were all in that finish him type daze. Did I think the fight was stopped early? Yes, I do think the fight was stopped early. I think that if it's a world title fight, it should go even like to the end. The fighter should get to go out on the shield. It's a title fight. Mark Goddard, Goddard is a phenomenal referee. He has a very tough job. Guys, it's such a hard job. It's such a difficult job when it's happening live in front of you. You're not seeing a replay. You're two feet away from it. It's really tough to catch. I, I, I'm saying this because... I know Mark very well. I've seen him. I've seen him ref a million times. He's refed my fights a million times, like fighters that I train and all that. He's phenomenal. He's a great referee. He's, he does jujitsu. He's a black belt. He's a killer. He, he trains. He knows everything about martial arts. It's he just has a tough job, and sometimes he's, he's not going to be perfect. I think it was a little bit early. I think he's a phenomenal ref. It's just it happens. Now, um, I want to talk about. I want to talk about Poatan's kicks, okay? I want to do a survey, actually. I want to do a survey. I want to see what you guys think. Who is the greatest kicker? Start poll. I want to do a poll here. Best kicker in MMA history. All right, guys, I'm firing it off. So far, I have Krokop, Alexander Pereira, Douglas Lima, and Jose Aldo. I'm going to tell you who I think is the greatest kicker of all time after you guys give me the poll. Guys, the kicks on Jerry were phenomenal. He landed two, three kicks, and it seemed like Jerry was like, what do I do? But then Jerry, you know, he came back really strong in round two. He had like, Jerry's got that punching power. But like I told you guys, a leg kicker at the level of, of uh, Alexander Pereira, he, those leg kicks will take away all that magic that Jerry does, all that fancy magic, kung fu, mysticism, fireball throwing. A great leg kicker will take that away from you. Forget your Hadouken. It's tiger kick, tiger kick, tiger kick, tiger knee. No more fireballs. Okay, I thought it was great. What a phenomenal fight! I'm not gonna break it down to a to a to a T, guys. We all saw what happened. It was kind of obvious. I mean, it was like Poatan's got that left hook, man. What can I tell you guys? Give me your thoughts and comments on the fight. Jonathan Martinez currently fighting bantamweight. That's from German. Yes, he's got phenomenal kicks, guys. Definitely. But I, I think we should put champions. I, should, I think we should put guys who are world champion. I, I think Martinez can become world champion, definitely, and he's a phenomenal kicker. We just got to wait till he makes his mark. You know, he's, he's still young in his career compared to these other guys. <laughs> Jordan Peterson, greater than Faraz Zahabi. Well, yeah. In what way? What way, Raju? I'd like to... I would love. I would love. I'm sure you mean intellectually. Obviously, he wouldn't. You know, he wouldn't go fisticuffs. Obviously, but uh, even then, I don't think so. I would love to uh, have a discussion with him. I don't. I don't find him to be so. I find he's a very intelligent guy. Don't get me wrong. I just find it's a hit. It's a hit and a miss. I don't. I don't believe him to be accurate in his depiction of reality. <clears throat> All right, guys. Let's see what here. What else we got here? Another super chat. Poatan isn't the top technique for kickers, but has one of the most effective low kicks I've seen. Interesting, too, since he doesn't really turn his hips. That's from Samuel, Samuel Crisanto. Samuel, 
Thank you for that super chat. I will tell you, you don't have to turn your hips. That's the beauty of kicking. There are so many type of kicks. If you check out my videos, guys, on jujiclub.com, I have two, two videos on kicking. Professional kicking volume one, professional kicking volume two, and I go through the exact kick that Puatan used. Don't turn your hip. That's the whole point. You don't turn your hip. When you turn your hip, guys, you open yourself up to, for counters and also you hurt your shin. You'll break your leg throwing a kick like that. There are different ways to kicking yes there are cut kicks i also showed cut kicks cut kicks in the video where we turn the hip change level and follow through on the bag that's when we set it up we're sure that our opponents cannot block the kick now it's time to cut that tree down that's why we call it a cut kick it's like you're cutting down a tree guys also i forgot to mention check out my new video which is incredibly selling incredibly to my surprise how incredible it's selling a man's guide to throwing a punch guys check it out it's a super seller Everybody loves it. How to start your boxing routine. How to get in shape starting a boxing routine. You're absolutely going to love it, guys. I think it's a phenomenal book. It comes with a, P a PDF. Make sure to put in the promo code on the bottom of your screen. Fall 50 off. Get 50% off. Don't forget to punch in the promo code and then write us an email saying, I forgot to punch in the promo code. Please, guys, don't do that. Uh, we, don't do, we, can't, we can't reverse it. It's too late. It's done. Put the promo code. It's there. Fall 50 off. Get your 50% off. Enjoy the video. Start a boxing routine for life. Get in shape, guys. There's nothing better than to get in shape with a boxing routine. And, of course, you get the benefit of learning how to defend yourself. Moneylong213 says, Watching the fight, it looked like Jerry got taken down. Oh, sorry. Looked like Jerry got the takedown. Was he out or not? Professor. No, no, he didn't get taken down. He got hit with that hook. He got stuffed. Uh, sorry. What's wrong with me today? I just finished practice, guys. I rolled this morning. Let me tell you my practice. I rolled this morning. I did two rounds. Then I went back and then I did an aerodyne workout, which I loved. I love aerodyne workouts now. All of a sudden, I'm, I'm big in aerodyne. And then uh, I came back at night. I did four rounds of rolling. So I'm like pretty exhausted. My brain's a bit tired. That's like total seven rounds today and seven minute rounds. So seven times. Uh, what, did, what did I say I did? I did uh, two in the morning, four at night. So I had six rounds, six times seven. That's, that's a lot of minutes. Plus an aerodyne workout, so I'm pretty cooked. I got to tell you guys, I'm pretty cooked today. Watching the fight, it looked like Jerry got take, got the takedown. I think you mean it looked like he got taken down when he got cracked with the left hook. Was he out or not, Professor? I don't think he was out. I think he was in that finish him position. Okay, like Jerry's... Uh, <laughs> Ah, <laughs> Boatan's left hook. It's a weird left hook. It stuns guys. It just stuns people. It just like buzz, buzzes them. But it, I don't know. It, it did it to Strickland. It did it to um, Adasanya, and it did it to Jerry. Three world champions. Finish him. The guy's days is just sitting there, waiting for you to finish him off. I think Mark Goddard. Stopped it a little early. I don't think Jerry was out. He looked fine after, like, but he, he was stunned, guys. He could have got really hurt. He could have also survived. I don't want to say he couldn't have survived. I just bought Kicks Volume 1. You're talking about uh, Professional Kicking Volume 1, and it's amazing. Man's Guide to Throwing a Punch is a must. <laughs> you have changed my life. That's from Hassan Haytham. Hassan, you're a gentleman, a scholar. Please do enjoy. Don't forget, guys, please leave me a review on Juji Club. If you scroll down the product page, there's a review section. A lot of you guys buy, but you send me email reviews. Please, I really appreciate the email reviews. It's so sweet, so kind, so friendly. I appreciate it. But please also leave it on the site so people who don't know the product is good, they'll, they'll also get a chance to understand that the product is high quality. All right, guys. I think I have to agree, man. The best kicker is Pereira. Even though Krokop, I don't know. I want to say Krokop. I want to say Pereira. I don't know, guys. I don't know. You guys are, you guys are maybe right. John Jones, oblique, oblique kicks. No, John Jones is a good kicker, but he's not the best. He's not up there. All those guys out that I, we have in the poll are better than him. 